Hello mates, welcome to Exhibition Reviews. In this session I will give you overviews of great exhibition and some extra information about their contents, so you can prepare your visit and impress your friends. Today let's talk about Before the Inca, Skins and Goats in ancient Peru at Musée du Quai in Paris. The exhibition lets you see artifacts from several pre-Columbian civilizations from North Peru. Four main civilizations are represented, the Cuspinic, the Moche or Mochica civilization that most people know, the Lambayeque and the Chimu. In this exhibition, most seen pieces are shown. If you want to see highly representative uh, artifacts of Moche culture, for example, you won't be disappointed. You will see erotica, huaco portraits, which are naturalistic representation of members from the Moche elite, and gold artifact from the most famous Moche tomb in the world, the one of the Sipun Lord. But personally, I really appreciated that the exhibition also focused on little known type of representations. Landscapes as mountain and plants as cucurbits or cassava were very important in ancient Peru belief system. And it's so nice to enhance that fact through the exhibition of very calidative pieces of art. In the same vein, the domestication of the Muscovy duck is very well illustrated in this exhibition. And it sounds very important to me because when we talk about domestication of animals in South America, people think about camelids and guinea pig, but they often forget about ducks. The link between Peruvian civilizations and the sea is also perfectly well traded. And I especially appreciated this ceramic showing a ray, because ray and sharks are very important in Moche iconography, so I was waiting for it. And I thought that this very artifact was fascinating for several reasons. First, because of the presence of the fishing line suggesting the exploitation of marine resources, and then because of the presence of this old level mentioning the name of the mission. It's a little slice of excavation history, and this sort of details always drive me emotional. The exhibition also focuses on the place of women in Peruvian civilizations, showing that they could have access to a very high political and religious status among the society. You will see the very famous cow lady with her gold tiara and regalia, and the no less remarkable goods from the tomb of the Tronancan priestess. Among the artifacts from the Sipan Lord's tomb, this gold spider is probably the most fascinating one, because it has been beautifully crafted, obviously, but also because of this polymorphic aspect. If you look at it from the top, it's a spider, but if you change the viewing angle, it's a human face. And this kind of optical effect is very characteristic of the Moche art. I wanted to share with you my favorite example of this sort of creation, a cow nose with a human face. But let's go back for a second to the Sipan Lord spider. The representation of a spider in this funerary context will have deserved more explanations. Indeed, in Moche society, the spider seems to be the metaphor of a cycle of life and death. And in iconography, it's also linked to human sacrifice by decapitation a practice which may clearly accompany the animation of a sequish. In this exhibition, a quick overview of divinities is also led. You will see amazing representations of Neylamp, who is the mythical founder of Lambayeque. He is a deity linked to Ariel's entities, and more especially to a reptile, the osprey. And an amazing thing, which is not mentioned weirdly in the exhibition, is that the name, Neylam, is very close to the Peruvian name of the osprey, and this is why the osprey is often seen as a divinity in Peruvian civilizations. Representations of eagles and falcons are often found in sacred contexts, probably because they took an important place in criminal punishment and human sacrifices. Talking about it, there is my only regret about this exhibition. Human sacrifices and body mutilations are mentioned and pretty well explained. You will see a very beautiful sacrificial knife and this amazing representation on a ceramic of a ritual fight. Anyway, I was expecting for more. For example, I was hoping for a discussion about the iconography of human decapitation because it links very tightly the Cuspanic and the Moche people, and it says a lot about the relationship between the two civilizations. Obviously, there is much to be said about other types of sacrifice, such as scalping or suicide by self-throat cutting, but decapitation, it's something else. It's omnipresent in Moche culture, and in the exhibition, it's metaphorically present in the gold spider from Sipan, and Decapitated bodies have been found in the tomb of the cow lady, so 
I wish to see more about it in the exhibition. Anyway, it's a wonderful exhibition, as the Musée du Cabroni knows how to do it perfectly. You must see it, and it's on display to the 1st of April, so there is no excuse to miss that. Mm -hmm.